recording. I'm recording on two devices. That's why I'm looking off screen for a second. Okay. All right. So we're recording. All right. So now, housekeeping aside, I was so excited, you all, to welcome Sarah Klugich as our presenter today for this really exciting community hours. Sarah Klugage's art practice focuses on economic and political issues mm -hmm. in craft and food. She is the editor-in-chief of Dilettante Army, an online journal for visual and critical theory and core faculty for the master's program in critical craft studies at Warren Wilson College. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen now and let Sarah take it over. Thanks, Kira. Um, very excited to be here with all of you today. I am going to start sharing. Oh, no. Can I um, share my screen? Yeah. Welcome, everybody, from wherever you are. I'm going to, okay. Oh, uh, wait. Now I have a security tab and but not a share screen tab something happened oh here allow just share screen share screen okay here we go sorry about that okay um i wanted to start um what's morning for me our, our time together um by just walking through what we're going to do today um so today uh, we're calling this the Remix Community Hours. And the idea is to um, take advantage of Creative Commons licensing on um, Wikipedia and Wikimedia Commons in order to um, adapt and remix artwork that's already there. Um, and today we're working with uh, two new pieces of art from the Art and Feminism Call to Action Art Commission. Um, so what we're going to do today is go through a little bit of information about media files on commons, um, talk about what it is to remix an image, um, and go through some embroidery. I see uh, a hand up. Do you have a question? A comment, please. Yeah, sure. Amungazi, yeah. Hello, Amungazi from Nigeria. Please, my friends are here with me, but they have not gotten the invite link. Okay. Hello, Hi, Ngozi. You can go ahead and share the link with them directly. It should also be in the calendar invite. Um, also, if they email me, they will get an out of office that has the link directly. Okay. To them. Thanks, Ngozi. I sorry about communication. Um, this. First part is pretty um, intro and you can follow all along with the um, link from where you are. Um, maybe Kira, could you put the link to the presentation in the, in the chat? That would be probably definitely, helpful. definitely. Okay. Um, okay, so let's get started with that. Um, kind of basics first, what is Wikimedia Commons? Commons is a media file repository that makes available public domain and freely licensed educational media content. And guys, did you get the link? Sorry, I just wanna check that you got what you need. Okay. Um, you can see uh, more about this on, um, Wikimedia Commons in the on the page for project scope. Um, but basically the idea is the Commons files are used to illustrate Wikipedia articles and for um, other Wikimedia sister projects. So it's a Commons common media file repository for all of those projects. You get it. Um, what kind of files can you put on Commons? Um, importantly, all content has to be in a free file format. So that, that means JPEGs, PNGs, F, SVG, GIFs, AUG, which is a video file format, and MP3 are all allowed. But there are some proprietary uh, file formats 
that are not allowed on commons. Like you, if you have Apple products, for instance, um, your photos are stored in a file format called HEIC, and that's proprietary to Apple. So you have to convert it to another file format in order to upload it on commons. Um, every file on commons has a license attached to it that allows that file to be shared freely. Uh, there are a few common types of licenses. The most common um, where I am in the United States is Creative Commons. In Europe, the most common license type is GNU, and there are several others. Um, but we're going to be working with uh, Creative Commons licenses today. So the Art and Feminism Call to Art and Action Art Commission uses that um, Creative Commons license, especially this type called the CCBYSA. And there are layers to every Creative Commons license. Um, and CC just means Creative Commons, um, right? That just identifies the type of license. BY refers to attribution. It means literally by, like this work is by someone. Um, and this license layer allows your work to be used for anything, including commercially, to be remixed or adapted as long as the person who uses that file says who it's from. So as long as they credit you, they can do what they like with it. And then the last part of that license type is SA, and it means share alike, um, which means that each new work that remixes or adapts your work must be credited, credited to you, as we said before, and it also must be licensed under identical terms, which means that it stays freely available. So if I remix Aditi's work um, and uh, I use an SA, like she used an SA license, I also have to use that license type in order to make sure that it stays um, available in the way that she intended. So today we're talking about what you can upload to Commons, including these artworks. Um, there's a very handy flow chart. That is the first thing you will see when you open the Wikimedia Commons upload wizard. Um, this is kind of a basic rough grasp of uh, what you can upload to Commons and what you can't. If you go to this link here, you'll see some annotations to this document that describes some special cases. But um, we're going to go over the basics today. Uh, you can upload works to commons that you have created yourself, um, as long as they do not depict copyrighted material. So that includes you can upload uh, pictures of public figures, of animals, plants, non-artistic objects, meaning nothing that um, has an intellectual property attachment to it. But if you're, you know, you can take a picture of a basic. Um, it also includes any graphic works that you have created yourself. So if you make a graph or a map or a diagram, you can upload that to Commons and you own the copyright to that. When you upload your work, you grant permission to anyone to use, copy, modify, and sell it without contacting you. So anything you put up there is free for anyone for, to use for any reason, and they don't have to get your permission to use it beforehand. Okay, what can't you upload? Uh, you cannot upload anyone else's work. Um, that means no logos, no commercial images, screenshots of movies, drawings of copyrighted material like cartoon characters. And truthfully, most pictures on the internet cannot be accepted on commons. There are a lot of images floating out there, but that doesn't mean that there's copyright attached, uh, isn't copyright attached to them. It means that they're being used in violation of copyright very commonly. There are two exceptions. Um, if you get permission from someone else, it's usually written permission to upload their work, you can do that. Um, if their work, again, is already licensed as CCBYSA, they've already granted permission to adapt or copy their work and you don't need their written permission. But if they have not released it under that license, you do need to contact them and get, and get that permission. 
You can also upload photographs of older art, um, statues and buildings. The kind of uh, general guideline is over 150 years old because those are considered to be artistic works in the public domain. So kind of in conclusion, you can upload and license your own work. You cannot upload and license someone else's work. So um, we, the Art and Feminism Call to Action Art Commission has commissioned um, three artists this year to create original artwork and upload their own artwork to Commons. Um, you can find them all by following this link and we'll go to that in a minute. Um, you can see them all here um, from past years and then this year's two artworks here. Um, you can remix these artworks. You can do anything you want with them. You can make um, new artwork, no new digital images. You can use them for posters, buttons, embroidery patterns like we're doing today. They're often used to kind of promote for promotion of art and feminism events, um, used to illustrate uh, edit-a-thons and stuff like that, make swag. Um, we are, we are going to be uploading some artwork today, or at least I am, and then um, I'll walk you through how to do it with your own work. There is um, kind of a, a guideline for what you can upload in terms of your own artwork and what you can't. So because Wikimedia Commons is not a private file repository, it's not appropriate to upload um, photographs of you and your friends, um, all of your own artwork, um, you know, you can't really host your portfolio on commons. Um, and, but this uh, kind of uh, carve out that I've highlighted in this blue box right here is what we're looking at today. So um, you can't upload self-created artwork without obvious educational uses. But for this, we're saying that um, the artwork we're uploading today does have an educational use because it's educating people about feminism. And it is also attached to art and feminism, which is an educational endeavor. Um, I wanted to say, this is kind of where the idea for this um, little community hours came from, is that I, um, for a few years, um, organized all the volunteers for the edit-a-thon that happens at MoMA in New York City. And uh, with the volunteers, I got into the habit of making buttons every year. And so in, I think this was, yeah, okay, 2018, uh, Tuesday Smiley made this fantastic gif about internet feelings of rage and sorrow. And I decided to make a button out of that. And so I um, printed some fabric with the sorrow and that she uh, uses in her gif and attached it to this rage button like a little, promotional rosette for Canada C. Um, you can do whatever you want with this stuff. I, you can, and I am sure you ha all have creative ideas. Um, for this workshop, we're gonna work on some embroidery. So if you haven't done this yet, if anyone um, is just getting started, the first step is to download the file. So you're gonna go to this page. Um, you're gonna pick whatever you want. Um, you're going to decide, you know, what size you want to download it as, and then um, figure out what kind of how to, how to appropriate that that for your the size of the embroidery you want to do. So you might have to size it down or up depending on what you want. Um, then you print it out, uh, and the next step is to transfer the design to your fabric. So this is one method of transfer. There are a few that work really well. Um, if you're using white fabric, this one's super easy. You can just tape the printout to a window and use the light that's coming through that to trace your embroidery design over it. So this is my um, window here in Brooklyn. I taped this up um, on the window and then I taped um, some sheer ish white fabric over it. And um, I'm using kind of a, a light fabric with a, a lot of give to it. It has a strong bias. So I really had to tape that down to make sure it didn't squiggle around. 
Um, then just use a regular pencil to trace um, the lines from the design onto your fabric. If you are working with a darker fabric that needs a contrasting color and that you can't see through, a good method is to use this stuff called wax-free transfer paper. It's just a paper that's coated with colored chalk. Uh, and you can find it in a lot of sewing supply stores or notions. Um, and you just wanna choose a color that contrasts with your fabric. So if you're using you know, a red fabric, you can use a blue, um, a blue transfer paper, if using dark fabric, maybe use a bright yellow, something that's gonna show up. And then um, it's maybe hard to see in a white background, but put your fabric down, um, put the transfer paper over it so that the chalk side is facing towards your fabric and put your artwork on top of that. And then you use uh, tape it all down and it's the same kind of method from there. You're gonna trace your design with a pencil over your printout. So you're just looking to make enough pressure that the chalk will transfer to your fabric. And you'll see here, um, this is what I did with Aditi's work. Um, and you'll notice here that I, I didn't just print out the um, design the way that she designed it because it would have been a, a little complicated for an embroidery, but I took some elements from that and moved them around in Photoshop to make kind of the size and complexity that I wanted. So you'll see that you're, um, when you're done pressing down with your pencil, your fabric will have a lightly marked design over it. It can sometimes be kind of hard to see. So um, you might wanna go over it with something like um, a water soluble pencil or a graphite pencil, um, something that will come out in the wash so that when you're done embroidering, you can um, put it, run some water over it, um, put it through the washing machine any, either way. Um, and then the marks will disappear and your thread will remain. Oh, sorry, you should, and then you're gonna put it into an embroidery hoop. If you haven't used one of these before, um, it's really simple. Here, I'll undo this one and show you. Um, you'll have your fabric like this, and then you've got a hoop that has two pieces to it, an inner hoop and an outer hoop, and the outer hoop has this little screw on top. And that's to um, tighten the fabric over. So you're gonna put your fabric over your one hoop like that, and then put this hoop over the second hoop so that it holds it in like that. Tighten the screw so that it's holding your fabric in there really tightly. And then just kind of like pull it around so that it's, ooh, um, it's taut in there. And then go too far so it all bursts out of your embroidery hoop. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple to do. And then time to stitch. Um, I put four stitches in this presentation that are really good for graphic works because they make solid shapes or straight lines. Um, Backstitch is probably your best friend for outlining graphics shapes. Uh, you just move your needle um, a little bit away, go back into the hole you started from, move out, go back to the second hole so that you're always creating a continuous line. You're just looping it along. Um, satin stitch is great for filling in shapes. It's just, uh, you know, lots of stitches next to each other that can um, put a lot of uh, thread weight on top of the fabric. Seating stitch is good for texture if you have to fill in a large area, but you don't want to cover it all in satin stitch because that would take too long or it would be too, um, too dark or too graphic. Uh, this is kind of an in-between stage that gets you like an overall pattern. And then um, French knots are great for dimension and texture. So if you want something to stand out from the page, um, from the page, from the fabric, um, you can add a knotted stitch and that'll give it like kind of make it poof out. And that's really it. Um, so today, um, the next thing I wanna do quickly is walk through um, what to do uh, if you want to go through this process and then upload your finished piece to um, Commons. Um, 
So I'm going to start over here. The first place you go is the upload wizard. Um, and you'll you'll find you can find this page just by Googling like Wikimedia Commons upload wizard. Um, you'll see that the first page you get to is this flowchart we just looked at. So it's warning you, this is the kind of thing you can upload to Commons, make sure that what you're doing fits these rules, right? Um, so I'm gonna click next. And then I'm going to find one of my files. Uploading. Okay, so um, you'll see that there's a little bit a warning about your metadata if you want to make sure that your file is anonymous, um, that it's not traceable to where you are geographically, you can um, look in the, you can examine the metadata on your file and wipe that. I, I'm fine with that right now, so I'm gonna continue. Okay, this is about release rights. So um, this site requires you to provide copyright information for this work to make sure everyone can legally reuse it. Um, and I'm gonna click, this file is my own work. It's gonna, I'm already signed into Commons, so it's gonna fill in my name. This is my username, Dilettante Army. Uh, it says, I am the copyright holder of this work and I irrevo irre irrevocably grant anyone the right to use this work under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 license. Um, okay, so image title, um, I'm, it's automatically filled in the file name that I gave it right here, Lady Saba Embroidery. I think that's fine. Um, and then for the caption, you can just say embroidery of Ladies Daba by DT. Um, and then a description and I am going to use a, um, I'm trying to, I already wrote it out, so I'm trying to find it. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna provide something of the um, attribution and licensing in the description here. Um, so I'm using a template that is available Sorry, let me find my tab. You'll see it right here. There's a derive from template if you want to use this in um, wiki markup language. So it'll just give you this example and you fill in your own information here. Uh, it's not fully required, but um, it is, I think, helpful. Um, okay, so I've added um, a description. Um, date for work was created or first published, that's today. And then I'm gonna add a couple categories so that it gets sorted where I want it to be sorted um, and people can find it. So I'm gonna add art and feminism. I'm gonna add the call to action. Here we go, call to action art commission. So it'll be sorted in. And then maybe a few describers. So this is embroidery. Um, there's another category for stitched images. Since this is um, a representative image, that's probably helpful. And there you go, that's it. I'm gonna click publish files. Publish. There you go. Um, okay, so I'm gonna stop sharing and I would love to hear any questions that you have um, or stuff you wanna talk about. This is kind of time for questions. Here we go, stop share. Um, wherever, oh, okay, many people from, uh, yeah getting people one more person in from the waiting room. And I would also 
love to hear from Aditi, who is like graciously with us today, if you wanted to talk a little bit about what you made um, in your subject area and how you, your process, I would love to hear it. I've been staring at it for weeks. Um, yeah, I, I really love what you've done with the embroidery, especially with uh, like the misogynist, uh, internalized misogyny uh, piece, the hair looks really cool. Uh, <laughs> Thanks. So, yeah. <laughs> um. Uh. I. It's like the ladies' dabba is basically women compartment that is saved for women in public transport, like trains, uh, in Mumbai, where I am from. And I've been traveling. I've been traveling from it since I can remember. Since I can remember traveling. Uh. So. That, that space has always uh, felt very interesting and also like on a personal note when I started sketching uh, I used to have a lot of time when I used to come back from college uh, in the empty trains so I used to sketch I used to observe people in that uh, while sitting in the train and sketch them so that's just uh, personal uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, so yeah I have always felt that space is very interesting and uh, like it is a good repre representative of uh, like the women I see around me. Uh, so I have like I have tried to sketch ladies above a lot of the times before also, but like mm -hmm. I've never published it. So I, I was like, this 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 is a good opportunity to use this idea. Yeah, it's I mean, this is a perfect um use for that kind of artwork. I think it's phenomenal that it's with art with art and feminism on commons now. And I love your make space, take space um, text edition there. Thank you. Yeah, because uh, even though the uh, like the space is interesting and representative of women around me, the space is very small. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not enough for uh, everybody who is in that space. So, so I wanted to extend the extend it by putting make space take space. Yeah, it does look like there, you all are packed in there, um, <laughs> but everyone's kind of carefully moving around everyone else, which is a lovely yeah. way to describe it. Yeah. Thanks, Aditi. Um, Thank you. I don't want to you know, offer you up, but if anyone has questions for a DT, feel free to speak them out or put them in the chat. Um, in the meantime, I see Allison um, asking for any particular colors for um, you to use. You can use anything you want. Um, I kind of stayed, I think, pretty close to the colors that are in the work. Here's my um, little one of internalized misogyny. And you'll see that I kind of try to interpret the colors um, that are in the graphic work kind of as close as I could with the thread that I have. I used this kind of metallic pink for the hair, which I thought made it like stand out a little bit. Um, but I think you could go anywhere. You, I mean, this could be in blue and red. It could be all black and white. I think anything um, you want to use, and that's probably part of the fun of it is getting to add in what you want. Um, and truthfully, you did, I mean, this is maybe fairly faithful to um, the original design, but you don't have to be. Um, you could mix these up together. You could add in your own artwork um, with elements from here or um, from, yeah, anywhere you wanna source imagery. And I, ha I have a big stash of just like, I mean, you'll see, like I've just got thread colors, you know, <laughs> around the wazoo. So I just kind of picked out what I had around the house and worked with what I got. Great, thank you. I'll, yeah. I'll pick through my box, see what, yeah. see what comes <laughs> up. <laughs> it's thank good to have a box. Much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, hello. Hello. Sorry, I think I missed that. Yeah. Could you... Okay. 
Is there a time limit for us to upload what we have done? No, you can do it okay. any at any time. Yeah, um, it, you could take months. <laughs> it's no, really not months, months. <laughs> no, you maybe don't want to spend months on this, but um, no, there's no time limit, um, and it's not. Um, attached to art and feminism or this event really. So you can do, um, you can upload anything to commons on your own time. Uh, and the, okay. um, the, the slide deck will be available forever too. So you can come back to this later if you want. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. Of course. Has anyone started an embroidery yet or have any questions about stitching, commons? Ooh. Ask another, can I ask another one? Okay, can we go on our, out on our own and uh, design anything, eh? anything we like? Can we? Yes, yes. Can we? Okay. Okay, so we can do as much as we like using our embroidering materials. Yes, okay. anything you like. That's very good. Okay. And you That's don't have to, um, you know, you can do this with any image on Commons too. It doesn't have to be attached to the call to art, um, call to action art commission. Um, we're just using this as like a fun example. Okay. And I need your embroidery. Sure. Sorry, you go. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, is there any hashtag for us to attach to the image so that it can be identified as part of this workshop? Well, when you use it on social media, I'll defer to Kira. You can use hashtag art and feminism. Um, hashtag art and feminism. Yeah. Were you still okay. using? Now editing AF, yeah. So hashtag, I'll put it in the chat. Can you type it at the chat? Uh huh. Okay. I got it in there. Okay. There you okay. go. Okay. 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 I can see hash up and feminism hash now editing AF. And if you want to upload it to Commons, um, Commons doesn't use hashtags but they do use categories. So um, you saw me assign those categories at the end of my little upload, but you can um, look for the, I will put these in the chat, um, but there are some relevant categories like art and feminism. You can do feminism. Embroidery, etc. So those just those kind of descriptors make it helpful for people who are searching for these images on Commons. Um, they can find them using these categories. Okay. Chimezi, am I saying that right? Did you have a question? Yes. Um, thank you. Um, I don't. I, so my question is, we are preparing for our Equity Watch Initiative as and Feminism event that is coming up soon. Is it possible for us to promote this um, particular work in the workshop, in the training? Is it possible for us to involve other people that are not uh, currently here to be part of this, uh, this project? That is number one. Then second thing, mm -hmm. apart, apart from, from uploading it in Wiki Commons, is it also possible for us to promote the artwork, artwork in our, in our, our, our social, social media, media uh, platforms, platforms and, and using, using these hashtags? hashtags. Because, because um, um, our, our organization, organization we have a Twitter, we have, Twitter, we have, we have Instagram, and, and we also have websites. So I'm wondering if um, it will be allowed for us to promote the 
this project through these different uh, various uh, platforms? Yes, absolutely. Um, these images are free to use for anything you like. Um, and you can, you can use this um, activity um, for your own edit-a-thons, your own events. That's, that would be amazing. That's great. And you can use the images on social media or wherever you like, because I've just uploaded them using this Creative Commons license, which lets you do anything you want with it. Okay, because um, what I'm thinking right now is we have so many young people that have interest in art, and we really want to encourage them using this platform. So I'm looking at um, a possibility of us organizing um, these young people in our organization, and they can come up with their artwork and um, I, I want to know if we can use this platform to promote their artwork and also promote the project. Do you mean uh, mm. use Wikimedia Commons to promote the artwork or use art and feminism? Art and feminism. Is that on feminism? Okay, yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, I think you can, Kira, you might be able to answer that better than I am. Yeah, I mean, that's a great question. Um, we love to highlight the work of our community. So if there is work of artists that's happening uh, at the events that you're, that you're organizing that you'd like us to highlight on the art and feminism social media, we'd love to hear about it. So definitely contact us and we can see what we can do. Okay, okay, thank you. And I think that sounds like a great idea and a good way to get kids, especially um, involved and give them something to do at an event. Thank you, we would like to do that. Hmm. Leaving some yeah. space for other questions. Oh yeah, Allison? I did have a question. Is the Wiki, is the Creative Alice Commons, um, or sorry, the Wikimedia, is a different login than the Wikipedia? Is that right? It is. Yes. Um, you can have a page on either. Um, I actually don't have a page on Commons because I don't um, do a lot of uploading, but you can log in through Wikipedia to get to Wikimedia Commons. You just mm -hmm. won't have a user page there with a sandbox. Okay. Um, so yeah, if you if you are used to editing on Wikipedia like I am, um, you'll have you have your user page with like some practice space. Um, unless you create another page on Commons, you won't have one of those there. Okay. That's Thank the only you. difference. Yeah. Are there any other questions? Helene is just like going to town. So <laughs> already quite busy. Yeah, Ngozi again. You're muted. Ngozi, you're, yeah, you're muted. Okay, okay. I'm sorry I have unmuted myself. Okay, um, um, looking for the link for the reimbursement for the materials. I think Kira Hello. can do that for you again. Yeah, I'll put it back in the chat again. Okay. I'd love to hear about what Helene's working on. Sure. Um, so I'm working on Wendy Redstar's work, um, Ashkama, Ashkamne, matrini, ma, Matrinial Inheritance, sorry for the uh, massacre of the pronunciation. And um, so I'm working on just uh, patterning in um, the different uh, like, no very, very raw shapes. 
And um, so the, and I'll show you another one that I did uh, that has the same pattern. So. Oh, wow, that looks amazing. Yeah, they're repeat patterns. I've been having a lot of fun with these in the past few weeks. And I, like when I saw the project pass by, it was like an opportunity to try to do something other than landscape. Uh, so I'm trying it out. So, so are you, yeah, oh, yeah, show us. Go ahead, yeah. So it's just the same uh, sort of shape uh, coming in. Yeah. And I'm so gonna you're keep separating the, out in, uh, parts of the image and embroidering them all separately. Yeah. So they, yeah. The, so the the shapes are quite raw, like the 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 initial shapes, and then it's gonna be filled in with different patterns. Oh, I I'm not sure that. if it's gonna be successful. <laughs> what a great idea, though. Um, and it's like a real life Photoshop layers. <laughs> <laughs> which is fantastic. <laughs> Anyone yeah, else embroidering right now? Or? I was uh, very excited about the workshop already. <laughs> yeah, I've been having a lot of fun. Now I wanna do so many more of them. A detail, Sarah, that I love that you did is the tiny attribution. Can you share that? <laughs> yeah, I, um, you can see uh, like on Aditi's, I put oh. um, a little BYSA up here and then name down here. Uh, I didn't do the title because that seemed like a lot of letters. But um, same thing here, name and a little kind of running off the CCBY essay. Um, I've had a lot of conversations with people about how to attribute, how to work attribution into a physical object, um, which is not really what Commons is designed for. Um, it's meant to give you, uh, you know, an ideal citation has the file name the creator um, and the licensing, but that's a lot to embroider in tiny letters. And sometimes you wouldn't even have kind of the opportunity for that. Like imagine making like a bronze sculpture, like where are you gonna put that? Maybe you could stamp it into the underside or something, um, but it's, uh, so we kind of made up our own thing. I wanted to, certainly to have the licensing on there and um, attribute it to the creator. Uh, but I think you could come up with a lot of methods that did the same thing in different ways. Um, but a little bit more difficult in this medium than um, typing in a URL or uh, just or signing a painting. It's not a medium that lends itself to lengthy, <laughs> lengthy acknowledgments. I was gonna share screen real quick to show everyone just the reference that Helene was making. So this is the Wendy Red Star Commission that was um, the second commission from the Call to Action Art Commission. And Wendy Red Star has um, a series of work called um, Absoluta Feminist. Um, so this uh, work ties like directly into the rest of her artwork. Um, I'm a big fan of her. So very exciting when this commission happened. Oh, we've got some. Well, if we don't have any other questions, I think we can um, just send all of us off to work independently on our projects. Does that sound good? Yeah, I want to thank yeah. you all so much for joining today for the community hours. I want to thank um, Sarah so much for your excellent facilitation and embroidery and just really 
showing us about these great works that you've been doing. I do want to highlight that we have another community hours that's going to be coming up at the end of, or actually, sorry, no, we're at the end of the month now. Um, early next month, it's about event metrics. So if you're an organizer and interested more about that, it's going to be using Wikidata. I just put the sign up form in the chat right now, and that's going to be happening on April 9th. So hope to see you there and uh Ngozi, I see that your hand raised. Go ahead, Ngozi. Hello. Hello. Yes, go ahead. Okay. I want to ask. Yes. Uh if we snap and upload to Wiki Commons, do we need to inform you? Do we need to Hello. Do we need to notify you that we have uploaded? Um, no, you don't. Uh, you are free to do it um, on your own and as often as you like. I, of course, oh, we would love to see it. Um, yeah. So, I mean, you're not required to notify us, but you know, we're, we'd love to see it. Sure. Definitely. Okay. Okay. That's very good. Okay, thank you. Is yeah, there no, thank you. Are you oh, embroidering okay. something right now, Ngozi? Yes, Can no, I us? said thank you. It's great learning this from you. Great. Thank Hello. you for coming. Hello. Um, go ahead, Chimizi. Okay, I just wanted to appreciate um, all the team members for this great work is uh, really quite interesting, is encouraging. I am sure that um, we would use, uh, like to use this to motivate our young artists from uh, this end. So I uh, just appreciate you for the innovation and say that um, we are happy to be part of it. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad that this is helpful for you. That's so wonderful to hear. And I just want to, at the end here, thank Aditi for coming out and for um, um, adding your beautiful artwork to Commons for all of us to work with. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. And yeah, thank this, you. This was a very fun commission uh, to create. I also, I would also uh, love to get tagged on social media if any one of you decide to remix uh, Lady Stuff. Yeah, it would be great to see what you guys do with it. Aditi, do you want to put your social in the chat? Oh, yeah, I'll put it. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Well, all right. Thank you so much, everyone. What a great way to spend an hour on this Monday. Um, I hope that you have a great rest of your week. Hopefully see you at our next community hours or at one in the future. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for joining us.